Hello there, TSAN fans. It's Thomas OHP Vazin here, and I'm back for another video. This isn't a leftovers video, though. Um, that's been postponed just a little bit, but it will be the next one to come out. Uh, as you can see, though, I am wearing my Thomas shirt, which I got for Christmas last year. And the reason for that is because... Oop, <laughs> camera's wobbling a little bit. I got this package today. It's from Totally Thomas Tau. Yeah, another Totally Thomas Town package. <laughs> yeah, another one. <laughs> I just love shopping from these guys. I mean, seriously, they got a lot in stock. From Erdl's to Taken Plays, Wooden Railway, the Play Rail, Track Masters, uh, Capsule Play Rail, the Minis. Yeah, they got a lot in their stock. And... <laughs> Yeah, I just thought, okay, why not shop with them again and see what I can get for my collection. Well, in this box, I got quite a few good treasures in here and stuff you guys will be able to see in the upcoming remakes. <laughs> but hey, don't take my word for it. See for yourself. As with my pair of scissors, well, less than reliable pair of scissors, I'm going to get this package opened up for you. So here we go. Oh, and remember, kids... Let grown-ups handle the scissors, okay? <laughs> yeah, let grown-ups handle the scissors. <laughs> These things are sharp and dangerous. Yeah. Wouldn't want any of you getting hurt. And of course, as usual, I blacked out my address on these things, so... <laughs> yeah, although you guys can see my face now, I don't want you knowing where I live. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Just trying to get this up so that way uh, you guys can see it just a little bit more. I don't know if you can. All right, there we go. So I got the box open and I'm going to put it to the side here for a little more space. Hope you're okay with the camera shaking a little bit. All right, so I'm going to open up the box here. And yeah, so like I got another one of these. Uh, thank you so much for your repeat business. Yeah. This is what I get. <laughs> I don't mind though. Those are really cool. All right. Some other pieces of paperwork in here. Uh, with promo codes that I can use later on. I uh, don't know if I will be able to use it, but we'll find out. Now, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is uh, basically just a sheet letting me know what's in the box here. So, yeah, this should be interesting. But well, it does help. But, you know, when I do these videos, I don't bother looking at the sheets. Anyway, we're going to start off with this paper bag and uh, we'll just see what we got in here. I'm pretty sure I got some batteries in here, probably another sticker. Yeah. Okay, a Totally Thomas Town card. I got quite a few of these already because uh, I do shop with them a lot. And yeah, I got some batteries. Yeah, okay, so I got batteries, a few of the items, and I got Minis Hero. Another duplicate, but that's all right. <laughs> oh, and there is a sticker in there. Okay, so. And toss that down to the floor. It's a Percy sticker. And you will be seeing these stickers in the museum in due time. When though, I'm not 100% sure. All right, so open up this first. Uh, let's see what we got. Oop, we got some minis. I'm gonna start off with this one. It's Diesel 10. Deadshot from the DC Universe. Wow. <laughs> Diesel 10 is Deadshot. Never had this one in my collection, so yeah, I'm glad to have it now. All right. Also included in here is it's Galaxy Porter. This is one of the 2020 minis. Yeah, I know, I know, I could have bought the blind bags at Walmart, but you know what? It's so much easier to get them from Tolly Thomas Town. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Galaxy Porter looks pretty good. 
Certainly sparkly, I can tell you that much. Really nice. And the last mini in this one is Cowboy Emily. And I think she was the last Cowboy mini I was looking for. Um, actually, I do have my checklist here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yep, she was the last one I was looking for. Okay, so we got Cowboy Emily. And, of course, she's in pink. Been interesting if they had done her in green, but, eh, that's all right. That works, too. All right, let's see what we got next. <laughs> oh, I think these are more minis. Not that I mind. <laughs> yep, I don't mind. Oh, yeah. One of the 2018 minis I've been looking for for some time. It's Apple Stanley. Yeah, I got this one in the museum, but I do not have it loose. So, well, I didn't have it loose. Till now, anyways. I'm glad to have this one, though. And he's got the transparent wheels, which I always like. Yeah. All right. And this one is, uh... Edward is a Batman. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to have a quick look at my piece of paper here. Just to see what it is. Hmm... Hey, where are you? Arctic Batman. Yeah, so this is Arctic Batman, Edward. Mm. And in case you guys are wondering, uh, yes, I've seen a lot of the new 52 DC movies. I'm not a huge fan of them. Uh, the movies I am interested in are, of course, Under the Red Hood, um, uh, Superman Doomsday, yeah, just those ones, the standalone ones, including the Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, which I do have in my collection, by the way. Alright, well, this is in minis, I'm sure it's gonna be a good one. Oh, it comes with a card. <laughs> okay, this is really nice. This is a take-and-play. Holiday Percy. I've never owned any one of these before, so this is a real treat for me. <laughs> oh yeah, we got the character card. And here is Holiday Percy. Yeah, he looks really good. With the Santa hat on. Lights around him. And even Holly along his... Uh, Running board, or is that mistletoe? I can't tell, but yeah. Take along Holiday Percy. Looks really good. I'm just gonna put the card over here. All right, next up. What do we have next? Well, it's Take and Play 3.0, and it's Bill. Yep. I got Bill. I'm hoping to get both Bill and Ben for my collection. I got quite a few of these Take and Play 3.0s now. Still, I like them. Alright, next up, I think we're getting back into the minis. I can tell. <laughs> That's the size of this one. Alright, our next one here. Is this Dash? Let me have a look. Yeah, it's Dash. Okay, so it's Galaxy Dash. I like the Galaxy ones. But the only one I had prior to this package's arrival was Kevin. That's all I had. And this one's already slipped out. <laughs> all right, I'm looking at this one next. What are you? Mermaid Man Bash. Okay, so it's Mermaid Man Bash. Really cool. Get the duplicate hero out of the way. Oh, what am I thinking? There's one more in here. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> okay, this is on the farm diesel. My goodness. <laughs> oh boy. And this is 2020 wave one, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. I can only imagine what kind of surprises wave two has in store for us. <laughs> yeah, diesel looks so silly. All right. Hmm. Small in here. Let's see what we got. Uh, more minis, of course. All right. We have uh, Bumblebee Millie. I'm not referring to Bumblebee the Transformer. I'm referring to the DC hero Bumblebee. The only reason I know of Bumblebee is due to her appearance in the original Teen Titans. And yes, she was in Teen Titans Go. I accidentally watched that episode. Didn't like it. Nope. That's all I'll say about it. That's all I'll say. Okay. And I think this one's called Captain Boomerang, and it's Diesel. And I picked out a few DC super friends and villains in here. Just because. Yeah. Diesel. <laughs> and actually, his eyebrows look a little different in this one. I don't know if you guys can tell. They look any different? I think they do. <laughs> All right. There's quite a bit in this package. <laughs> well, let's see what we got next. Oh. <laughs> Some nice wooden railway rolling stock. Cargo car. So yeah, it's just one of those generic black cargo cars. I got a few of these thanks to the Cheerios, you know, two packs that came out years ago. You got to send in, I think, four box tops, and then you got um, Thomas and the Cheerios cargo car, and that's how I ended up with a few Thomases. But I ended up with at least four Cheerios cargo cars. I've only been able to find one. Yeah, so I gotta try and find the others. Anyway, it comes with this piece, and it's called the Sodor Shipping Company. Yeah, it looks really good. And yeah, I'll be definitely using these in my remakes real soon. And I'm now covering up the sticker. Not good. I should move the batteries out of the way. I'm going to see about using them in this video, too. You know, just so that way we can uh, see the battery-operated items work. All right. Hmm. This one looks really nice. Oh, this is that Tank Alone Happy Easter caboose. Or Bright Fan. <laughs> yeah. I love me some Take Alones and Take and Plays. <laughs> I always love these, and I hope to start using them in remakes in the future, but uh, <laughs> well, only time will truly tell. Oh, and that's my cat Rosie. Yeah, I've been meaning to go over there and say good morning or good afternoon to her. Yeah. <laughs> I forget what part of day this is. <laughs> yeah. She'll quiet down at some given point. But yeah, this looks really, really nice. I mean, seriously. <laughs> oh, learning curve. You were the best at making these. All right, I'm picking this one out of... Uh, well, just picking it at blinds. <laughs> you know, I'm not really looking into the box. So, yeah. All right, so what do we have here? We got Henry. Well, it's tender anyways. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ooh, this guy's really beat up. I mean, seriously beat up. But he's been well loved. This is the talking take and play Henry. Hmm. Yeah, see, that's what I meant by being beat up. But you know what? They're still good. I like them. Okay, so we got, um, I'm guessing the... 2009 Henry's Tender and the 2012 Talking Henry. It's fine. I mean, Ferdinand comes with two different pieces. I mean, you got the regular Ferdinand from one era and then Ferdinand's Tender from another era. So that's really interesting. Anyway, do you have batteries in him? Well, how about that? He actually has batteries in him. Okay, so I guess I don't need to get out the screwdriver.
Sounds really good. Now I'll probably need to change the batteries at some given point in the future. Yeah, they're starting to sound a little warped to me. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I'll still search for a better conditioned version of Henry, but for the most part, he does look pretty good, and I may use him for, you know, nighttime uh, shots. You never know. You never know. All right. Oh, I'm going to save that big piece for last. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to grab the big, big piece. Hmm. Yeah, and I really should go over and see my cat in a little bit. Yeah. She wants to say hello, you know. I guess she's also saying hello to you guys as well. <laughs> Her name's Rosie, by the way. Anyway, to complete my Bandai collection of the narrow gauge engines, I got Duncan. Yeah, he's a little bit beat up, I can tell, but this just shows his previous owner loved him to bits. Yeah. He does look pretty good, though. Face doesn't look too bad. I can definitely use Duncan in some remakes in the future. Yeah. I'm going to be using a lot of Thomas Toy Brands for these remakes. Alright. Well, we might as well get the big piece out of the way if I don't knock the camera over. The next big piece is in bubble wrap. It's fine. I can already tell what it is. It's that beautiful uh, Fisher-Price Thomas. You know, um, I think he made sounds. Not hundred percent sure. Well, this looks different compared to the Thomas I had. Um, yeah, I'm not hundred percent sure how this one works. Um, so you know what? I'm gonna find out afterwards. So, <laughs> actually, I should show you Thomas. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out how he works, and then maybe towards the end of the video, there'll be a separate clip showing this Thomas in action. Yeah, he looks really good. They got a lot of details on this one. The stripes are 3D, which is always a plus. Oh yeah, really good. Really good. Ah, jeez. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to go over and see my cat for just one second, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, she just wanted a little bit of attention. Just fine. It's fine. After I went in and saw her, though, uh, I decided to put the batteries in this Thomas and see what happens. Well, the two double uh, A batteries definitely were meant for this toy, and there was already a double A battery in here. So, yeah, I'm just gonna flick the switch, which is right underneath uh, Thomas's buffer beam here. And I believe you turn this wheel, and I think Can I turn it on. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> if I roll along the table here. Yeah, Thomas Whistles. I've yet to fully figure out how this toy works, but, uh, you know, I'll figure it out in due time. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll just leave it on, just in case. Who knows? He may whistle, just for the heck of it. All right. So, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, and uh, my camera's battery is almost dead, so, yeah, I'll probably have to stop the video halfway. No, that's all right, though. I'll give you guys a chance to see me in another shirt in the next part of this video. So anyway, we have a Take Along Sodor Carnival Sodor Cotton Candy Company car. Here, have a good look at it. Does it look interesting or what? <laughs> yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? Looks really good. <laughs> oh, and uh, ignore the chatter that's going on up there. Yeah, I do live in a house with two other people. Yeah, all right, uh, let's see what we got now. It's so cool. I can never get these things to open up. Oh, it's a Trackmaster car. It's the Sodor Fireworks car. <laughs> this would be really good if I want to do a remake of Thomas and the Firework display, or, you know, an adaptation of that very episode. Uh, it's really good, doesn't it? Oh, and there goes my camera's battery. Yep, it's definitely showing that uh, it's going to die out. So, yep, I got to cut this part of the video off for now. Um, but I will be back with the next half of this video. So, stay tuned, guys. Okay, and that's been about a second for you guys. It's actually been a few days for me. Yeah, it's been a few days. Things kept popping up. <laughs> But either way, yeah, I'm ready to get back into doing uh, the unboxing of that Toy Thomas Town Package. 
which so far has included this beautiful Bandai Duncan, the Take Along Easter caboose, which is a really, really nice caboose, by the way. And of course, I can't forget the gem of my collection so far, the Holiday Percy with his own holiday card. How cool is that? Oh, and plus the minis too. All right, so now let's get back into this. I wonder what could be in here. Well, let's find out together, shall we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the engine I've been waiting for for a long time. I'll put the engine down here. And yes, all right, kind of tangled up in here. So far we have a blue tender. But whose tender is this? Could it be good old Hank? Yep, it's Hank, who recently starred in an episode on the Thomas and Friends classic series Creations. It's called Off the Mark, and if you guys haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend checking it out. Then again, I highly recommend checking out the Thomas and Friends classic series Creations. Those guys are good. <laughs> Yeah. And speaking of good, though, Hank is in really good shape. Seriously. A couple of scratches here and there on the tender, but otherwise, he looks really good. <laughs> Can't wait to use him in some of my videos. <laughs> All right. Next up. Hmm. It's one of the Scottish twins. It's Donald. Uh, I can never fully pronounce the company's name, but it's one of these models. Oh, with moving side rods, too. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Donald looks really good. I already have a Duke from this same company. Um, if I can ever remember it, I'll put the name of the company down below on the screen. So that way you guys can see it for yourself. stickers on the back <laughs> yeah you don't see that with Donald and Douglas these days anymore usually they got just the solid black ends but this company went above and beyond to give us that for Donald <laughs> that's really cool and the face oh wow that face is amazing <laughs> really cool love that one all right digging again into the bag I think we have a wooden railing piece here Let's find out, shall we? Yep, it's another wooden railway freight car. It's slightly beaten up, but that's all right. Freight's meant to look like it's been beaten up. Anyway, this is the Sodor oil tanker. I already have one of these from a previous purchase of Totally Thomas Town. Now I have two. I'm trying to get as many pieces of rolling stock as possible. Then after this video, sometime in the future, I'm going to get on to doing my first remake. Mm. All right. Oh, you guys are going to love this piece. I didn't even know this one existed. This is known as the Celebration Caboose. Yeah, Celebration Caboose. Huh. Battery's not in here. And, oh, jeez. I moved the screwdriver out of the way. Uh, I could have put in the batteries and tried it out because, you know, I got the batteries right here. But anyway, let's have a good look at this thing. Yeah, it's Thomas and Friends, 65 years. I can still use it as a regular brake van in my uh, series of videos. <laughs> as long as you guys don't mind seeing the 65 years thing. <laughs> Celebration Caboose. Yeah. Celebration Caboose. Really nice. Love that one. All right. This one's almost pure white, but it's a light pink. <laughs> All right. <Okay. laughs> oh, yeah. It's Gator from Take and Play 3.0. I have never owned a Gator in Take and Play. I mean, oh, let's see. Where is he? Oh, he's actually up there. But, yeah, I got a couple of Gators in my collection already. <laughs> Trackmaster, and I got his wooden railway form. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, but never have I owned the take and play version. Till now, anyways. He 
doesn't look too bad. A little squash, but then again, that's the normal style for Tekken Blade 3.0. It's not too bad, really. All right. Next up. Hmm. More rolling stock. This is a wooden railway troublesome truck. This is one of the pieces I've been looking for for my collection and to best use in my remakes. Rocking from side to side. Which makes a lot of sense, really. Yeah, look at that face. And that is wood, by the way. Pure wood. The only plastic bit I can tell that's on this truck is the load and, of course, the wheels. It even says underneath, troublesome truck. Oh, well, yeah. A troublesome truck. Just going to move the caboose back and put the truck there. Oh, and the truck couples up to the caboose, even though there are different ranges. All right, so I guess I'm getting into one of the boxed items in here, which are not going to be unboxed in this video, because they're going... Up there in the collection. All right, let's see if I can be careful with this one. <laughs> yeah, it's Paxton from the Day of the Diesels collection. And this is an old learning curve model. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and he came with the red wheels back then. The Fisher Price version that I do have came with just solid black. But hey, now I got two different versions of Paxton. One with red wheels, one with black. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, there's the Day of the Diesels logo up there, plus Paxton's name. There's the model itself. It's really nice. Yeah, really nice. I'm going to put Paxton right there and dive back into the box for another treasure. There we go. Another piece of rolling stock, but it's not wooden railway. It's a Trackmaster Titliff Milk Tanker. And how do I know it's Trackmaster? Well, you can't really see it that well, but it says Hit Toys Company. So this is one of their Titliff Milk Tankers. And plus it has the red banding on it. Not the black lining that we're used to, the Tomy ones. Plus it's got the blue cap right on the top. But hey. This is a pretty cool one. I can add it with all the rest of my tip of milk tankers. Yeah. That's really cool. Eh. Let's see what else we got in here. There's only a few items left in the box. Oh, yeah. This one's a really cool one. It's snow covered diesel. Now, there's a lot of people that don't like the Fisher-Price Diesel because of that smiling face, but, you know, I don't have a problem with it. Looks the part. Oh, and they even got snow on its wheels. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. Yeah, he's completely covered in snow. And I think this is from the uh, Dustin Comes In First um, book pack, or is it the accessory pack? I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. Never owned one of these things before. Well, I do now. And if I can do some wintertime themed episodes, yeah, I'll definitely include Diesel. And in fact, one story comes to mind, but I'll have to wait till later and hopefully it comes out before Christmas. I'm just going to move the box over here. Make things a little bit easier on me. All right. There's only a few items left in this box. Still pretty cool, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Ryan. In wooden railway format. <laughs> now, truth be told, I almost got Ryan for the wooden railway collection up there. But when I went to the Toys R Us store to pick him up, as well as a whole bunch of other things, which includes the wooden railway mic, um, I didn't have enough money on that day. So I had to leave Ryan behind and just get everything else. But hey, now I have Ryan. <laughs> Using Thomas's body. But then again, Bluebell and the Ertl range use Thomas's body, so can't really complain. One of the unique features about Ryan, his nameplate is right there. And right there. Looks really cool. 
Can't wait to use them in my videos. All right. Just a couple more items left, and the box keeps trying to slide over towards me. I bet you guys can't guess what's in this one, right? Well, let's find out together and see what this is. <laughs> oh, yes. It's Bandai Douglas. New in box. Well, sort of new in box. If it was new in box, I wouldn't be able to open it. Like so. And there's the engine in there. So I'm going to keep him in the box because he's part of the uh, loose collection items in my museum collection. Yeah, I'm starting to do that now. I'm going to expand the museum just a little bit more. But yeah. I already have Donald in my collection, as well as Oliver and Boko. And in fact, I'm actually just looking at them right now. Uh, I never did show them on camera because I got too busy. But, well, here's Douglas. And towards the end of this year, guys, you will get a Thomas Museum update video. That is my promise. You are going to get a Thomas Museum update video. It'll be, again, another... Um, premiere video like I did last year so that way you guys can comment on the stuff there uh, I hope I'll see a lot of you guys there in that video of course in that video you won't see my face it'll be just the stuff all right I'm gonna be very careful with the last item and I'm gonna get the box out of the way here and this next one I am super excited to have and in fact this year I've been buying up a lot of these more so than I have in the previous years So what's this last piece, you might be asking? <laughs> well, my dear friends, it's Gordon from the Ertle range. And as you can tell, this is one of the last styles of packaging for the Ertles. This is what I call the early 2000s design packaging. <laughs> yeah. And also, they changed Gordon's face for this one because they gave his face to the Flying Scotsman. So they gave him a whole new face for this one, I think. I'd have to compare it to my other Ertle Gordon just to be sure. It's from that same era anyways. But anyway, yeah, that's the Ertle Gordon new in box. And normally that's where the video will conclude. Except today, I'm gonna do a little something extra and unbox three items that have been waiting to come out of their boxes. It's these. The Trackmaster Revolution engines. Got Hero here. I got Merlin. And Diesel 10. Yeah, I've been meaning to get these things out of the boxes for some time, but again, been a little too busy to really take care of this stuff. But hey, better late than never, right? So, anyway, here's Hero in the box. Looks really good. Here's the back of the box. It's the same for all three of them. So you can tell there's Spencer and Philip. Uh, I no, I don't have either one of them from my loose collection, so yeah, I'm gonna have to look for those. <laughs> yeah. All right. So without further ado, let's get this box open and have a good look at Hero. And his tender just fell on the floor. Ah, great. Not ready to go. Yeah. Sorry about that. All right. So here is Hero's tender. You can definitely do some customizing with this tender. Uh, namely, I want to paint the buffer beam red on the back. Uh, and put some white trim around the edges of the wheels here. Just like Hero in the TV series. And yes, I'm well aware he's gone back to Japan in the series. But anyway, here's Hero himself. Yep, and of course I'll be painting the buffer beams. Well, the buffers anyway, it's not the beams, but the buffers themselves. 3D texture for the stripes, always nice. Yeah. And I have recently just gotten some more Trackmaster tracks, so that means I will be expanding on my Trackmaster layouts in the near future. Why? Oh, well, I have my reasons. All right, next up, the master of evil himself. Mr. Diesel 10. Of course, he's not that nasty nowadays. He's more just a bully, you know? 
He's a lot scarier than Thomas the Magic Railroad. And just so you guys are... Just so I'm making myself clear, I have not watched the director's cut leaks that have been posted on YouTube. Instead, I'm waiting for the 20th anniversary edition of the Thomas Magic Girl DVD to come out. Then I can see, you know, the deleted stuff. Yeah, I'm personally looking forward to that. It was my favorite movie as a kid, but, you know, it hasn't really held up that well over the years. Yeah, it's got stuff falling all over the place. So anyway, we got Diesel 10's freight car. Looks really nice. Of course, I will repaint it. I've already started with some of the others. I've just been trying to get my hands on some more paint. So that way I can continue that. And of course, Diesel 10 himself. Does this claw open? Oh, jeez, it does. Really nice. Anyway, here he is. Well, at least they gave him windows on this back end. And some windows at the front, too. So that's a really nice touch. Uh, I guess with this Diesel 10, I'm just going to have to paint the buffers and that hook. And for the back end, paint the buffer beam and then um, paint the buffers there. And I think with this Diesel 10, too, I'm actually going to weather him. So that way, he looks like he did in the movie, sort of. Um, I know I can't change the face to the uh, Tomy style face. Uh, I guess, you know, I don't want to destroy a classic Tomy model. But, you know, I can try to make this one look as menacing as possible. If I can do anything with the eyebrows, make him look angrier. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, giving off a sinister evil look. Well, I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. Just we'll have to wait and see to find out. Anyways, here's our last engine in this video, and it's Merlin the Invisible from Journey Beyond Sodor. Yeah. So shiny in this packaging. Really nice. All right, Merlin, time to come out of your box. Time to stop being invisible, buddy. I'm trying to grab the models before it falls onto the floor. All right, now here's the tender. In case you guys are wondering, yes, I do have Merlin in the collection, although the Merlin I have is in a three-pack, which is better, really. Yeah, I like the shiny finish on this one. <laughs> kind of wish Adventures had this kind of style to them, as well as wood. <laughs> but, you know, you can't win them all. If I had unboxed this earlier, you know, when I was hiding my face from you guys, <laughs> I'd just be going, oh, oh, no, oh, no, I can't let you see my face because Merlin's so shiny. But hey, I'm okay with you guys seeing my face now. <laughs> yeah, number 783, Merlin, smoke deflectors, and those experimental three funnels, which are all part of an experiment that did not work for the King Arthur class. I don't have to really do much with Merlin himself. Um, for the tender, though, um, I guess I will have to paint the bumper being red and then paint the buffers. So that's one bit of shine that's going to go. But, you know, it's not too bad, really. Oh, yeah. That's Merlin the Invisible. And now I'm going to have to move the camera. Don't worry, guys. You're going to get to see all of this. And I'm going to have to move the screen so that way I can see it. There we go. All right, yeah, so that's everything from Totally Thomas Town and including the Trackmaster engines that have been mean to be unboxed, like Diesel 10, Hero, and Merlin. So overall, am I happy with this haul? Yes, I am. I'm still going to figure out how this little toy works. I think I turned them off. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. And these are really cool, and you will be seeing many of these again. A couple of them in the museum, and others in future videos. And that's about all I can say for now. Uh, I got some other things to take care of, so I'm just going to wrap this up with my usual outro. Until next time, my friends, I'm Thomas Sword 3000. Thank you so much for watching, 
and I'm signing off.